Hi there. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I am Chidi Akuna. And I'm Victor Akunda. Alright, so if you're watching this, you might be on our YouTube channel, Foundation for Family Affairs. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you're notified when we drop our content. <laughs> and to every returning subscriber, I would like to say thank you for engaging with us yes. again and again. Thank you. Thank you. Make it worth the while. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so um, at Foundation for Family Affairs, our mission is simple. To connect hearts and raise healthy families. families so we're big about the state of things in your family mm -hmm. all right let's not just be a family just mm -hmm. moving on mm -hmm. yes we're married mm -hmm. okay but how are things there how mm -hmm. are the individuals in the family mm -hmm. and that takes us to what we'll be talking about today Fantastic. the last time in our last video signs your spouse may be unhappy mm -hmm. in that marriage we told you we we're going to talk about reasons. Mm. Okay, so here we are with the reasons. Mm. And when we when we say reasons, um, I wouldn't want our viewers to confuse depression with being unhappy. Mm. Okay, I just thought I'll throw that in. Mm. So if you think your your spouse is depressed, mm. um, maybe going through postnatal depression, mm. okay, you need to seek medical help Absolutely. urgently. Yeah. All right, so yeah. this is about those who, reasons why your spouse may be unhappy. Mm. Okay, depression is um, to the extreme. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, do you want to say something before yeah, we want, share our points? Yes, I wanted to say that um, people don't just become unhappy. Yes. Um, yes. By unhappy, we mean when someone has been unhappy perennially. Mm -hmm. Not that the person mm -hmm. is temporarily sad. Mm -hmm. That is normal in any relationship. Yes. Work relationship siblings relationship parents relationship but when someone is perennially consistently over a long period of time unhappy yeah. and that person is your spouse it's something to pay attention to yes, so yes. that might sometimes we people might not know that their spouse is not happy mm -hmm. genuinely a lot of people some people might not know and mm -hmm. why do we say this because probably they are busy with work schedules mm -hmm. they're busy trying to hit some target mm -hmm. so they're not even aware mm -hmm. sometimes they are aware but they don't have the emotional strength mm -hmm. to try to negotiate and to resolve the mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, whether you have the emotional strength or not does not negate the fact that your spouse is unhappy. Mm -hmm. That's your inavailability, your, your unavailability will not resolve the issue on mm -hmm. ground. So, mm -hmm. you need to know um, the reasons so that you can know the steps to take. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know what the problems are, mm -hmm. Most likely, your di if if you don't diagnose an issue correctly, mm -hmm. most likely your what do you call it? Now, is it your prognosis or your solution to be wrong? That's right. Okay, so that's one of the things that yes, we yes. working with different couples, we understand some of the reasons mm -hmm. why couples come to us that mm -hmm. it's not even aware of this. Mm -hmm. She's not even aware. She's so clueless. Mm -hmm. He's so clueless, mm -hmm. and the guy is looking and is rolling his eyes. The lady is rolling her eyes. She's like, I don't know why this is important. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, some of what we may be discussing with you might not make sense to you. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's not about you; it's about your spouse. Yeah. So, something that we I might think is is trivial may be important to her based on her own history, her own mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. Something that might be trivial to her might be very important to me because of my own emotional state and where I've come from. Mm -hmm. So, even though something doesn't make sense that we're going to say, you know, have it, research more about it, think about it. If you need extra help reach out to us and we'll help you out mm -hmm. but but always know that any of these points that i've mentioned if your spouse ever complain about it at any time mm -hmm. take them seriously mm -hmm. and then we'll also be talking about some of the solutions yes yeah. so i would refer you to our former video on yes. science your spouse may be unhappy fantastic okay and um i, I was watching an interview in the course of the week and uh, it was by fred hammond mm -hmm. an interview he had with who you are mm -hmm. and he was talking about his uh, failed marriage mm -hmm. and he, he he said um when he got into marriage because he was also born by a woman who never had a father mm. and was not his father was not there as well. Mm. So he never learned to um, fatherhood, never learned to be a husband. He mm. never learned he didn't know how. Okay, so mm. we are putting this content out mm. here mm. for anyone who thinks, hey, there's no one to help me, I don't know. They are out there. Get on our YouTube channel. We we'll have mm. a lot of resources. Fantastic. Okay, it's really heartbreaking for us to take it personal mm. when we see failed marriages mm. because the information 
as much as possible, try to make it available. Fantastic. On our YouTube channel alone, we have over 100 videos. Mm -hmm. So we've been spending time doing this. All right, so go out there and see what you need for such a time as yeah. this and use it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the points now. Yeah. The first point is that your spouse feels unheard mm. or at, unacknowledged. Mm. Unheard or mm. unacknowledged. Yes. You know, sometimes um, your spouse may be talking, mm. but the question is, are you really listening? Yes. Okay, sitting there and hearing her talk, I'll come from the perspective of a woman, mm. hearing her talk mm. does not mean you're really listening. Mm. Okay, and um, how would I know, how would I feel heard mm. that Very what I say is being acknowledged, mm. what I say is being acted upon, mm. okay, that mm. he considers my words, my ideas, my suggestions mm. important, mm. okay, to even give, give it a thought at mm. least. Mm. That way I would feel heard, I would feel like, okay, mm. my voice counts in this relationship. Yes, yeah. that's very important. I like what you said, what you said, um, at least give it consideration. Mm -hmm. Because we are not we are not saying that every time your spouse says yes. something you're going to agree or you're going to do it no, yes. but at least give it consideration. Another way where so why uh, another way someone a spouse will feel acknowledged or I will feel acknowledged is before you make an important decision, you ask me what's my own stance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to do this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That means you consider my opinion important for you to pause and to ask. So. It's different if there are some trivial issues, you no, know, I mean, you can't wait for everything to be too uh, bureaucratic. But there are some important issues that you know that this person feels strongly about issues like this. Mm -hmm. You have to wait and pause. So, for example, you are making a huge deposit or a huge purchase. Mm -hmm. You can't just go on and just decide. Or you are, you are trying to take a job in another city. Such things that will radically change the setting or the... The makeup of your home, you can't just decide that mm -hmm. kind of just make. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember one time that I was, um, uh, I mean, when I was single, it was different to when I was married. When I was single, I was working as a consultant. Also, they just call me, Victor. I wanted to go to this city and go and train this bank, uh, go and do this, go and do that. All right, but when I became a married man, the story was different. Then one day, I remember I got an opportunity. I needed to travel out of the UK. I told the person, even though it was a mouthwatering offer, I told the person, okay, give me a few, <laughs> let me just, uh, I'll, I'll call you back. And when the person kept pushing, I said, you know what? Yeah, I, I like to call my wife. So the moment I said that, he got it. And I had to call to, I knew she'd be happy for me to go, but I needed to tell her because I will be traveling out. I will not, I'm leaving the UK. So that's one of the ways where someone will feel acknowledged mm -hmm. all right or another way someone will feel acknowledged is um you're getting a, a fantastic offer and it happened to be on your wedding anniversary or on her birthday mm -hmm. and then because of that you try to negotiate for it to be moved that's you say i see you you're important to me that day is a special day i mean just one day of her birthday the whole of the year that's the day you want to do whatever you want to do i mean it's different if she gives you the permission but at least Career alone. Yeah. Focused. So um, what we're trying to say is, those mm. things might be, uh, might even be for the good of the family. Yes. Okay. Will help the family, mm. but you don't want to get that in and lose the person who is on the journey with you. Okay. So that person's opinions, that how the person feels about it, should yes. just be taken on board. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, mm. another point, which I think is a very big point, and mm. I've seen this affect a lot of people, mm. is that they feel unfulfilled. Yes unfulfilled mm. um, there's nothing as um, destructive there's nothing mm. as uh, it, it just tears down your self-esteem mm. okay if, when you you see mm. people you mm. see things that you wanted to do mm. you wanted to be mm. and you're like oh wow I can't because mm. you just you just feel like mm. yeah too many have abandoned dreams mm. okay and now we see this affects women sometimes mm. okay where they get into marriage mm. and then uh, because they have they have to have children mm. so they step aside from mm. their career mm. okay now having said this i would also want to encourage our viewers to, s to watch the video which would be at the top mm. okay which we did with a career expert yes yeah, so on bouncing back after a long after break. a long break okay yes. so we see this sometimes some women um step aside mm -hmm. to you know take care of the family mm -hmm. and they never come back mm. 
Okay, because there's always probably a reason. Sometimes mm. even from them, mm. from the woman herself, yes. because you need to be motivated enough to yes. want to go back if yes. you want to. Mm. Okay, not not that this is bad mm. because it might be the choice of some women yes. or, or some people. Yes, it's okay if it's an agreement you mm-hmm. both have sat down. You mm-hmm. know, you've talked about and you've decided this is the way forward. Yes. Okay, but if that's um, something you decided. Uh, should be a temporary arrangement Mm -hmm. and time is ticking and Mm -hmm. you're seeing that ah she doesn't look happy remember the signs we talked about Mm. i've seen all of these signs she looks Mm. she's not herself Mm. Uh, she's not 100 percent then you might need to revisit that topic again Mm. is it about time is is she thinking of wanting to do something else with her life Mm. okay so i think um that should be taken on board does she Mm. feel fulfilled in that marriage fantastic fantastic i like to speak from a male perspective so I have something I say to married guys um, that I coach or I talk to or I write on my Facebook profile. And one thing I used to say is this. If your wife looks, um, was much better in terms of her career progression, in terms of uh, self-esteem, in terms of what she was able to accomplish, in terms of the kind of network she had while she was single, than when, than now that she's married to you, that is something that is for you to check and what that means is that people should be better your spouse should be better as a married uh, as a married person than she was as a single woman that should be miles apart the reason being that now you are in our life you are supposed to be a if I'm speaking from a male perspective a husband a husband who's a husband the word husband I mean people have different connotations but the root word of the word husband is from farming a husband is someone that nurtures something until it produces fruit fruit and it produces a fruit is the end maybe it's a flower for it to bloom if it's a tree that bears fruit for it to fruit and you know reproduce itself and keep it that's the essence so until your spouse fulfills her full potential, mm-hmm. you're not f- fulfilling that role of being a husband. Mm-hmm. The role of a husband is different from being the role of a man in her life. Mm-hmm. A man can be in her life, but might not be a husband. A man can be a father, can be a male friend, mm-hmm. can be a colleague. But one person per time is the only person that can be a husband. <laughs> and that's super time. Yes, and that person, if it's you you have to understand the job description of a husband. A wife has a job description. But I'm speaking to male, to, to, to husbands. The job description of a husband is to find out what will make your wife happy in terms of the goals, what are the aspirations she had as a single girl. When you guys were dating and you were, you were asking her what, the, what are your plans for the next five years, has she achieved any of those plans? Now, um, some, I, just, I completed my PhD some couple of years down the line. And while I was doing my PhD, my wife gave me incredible support during that process. But before then, before I started my PhD, she was doing what we call the, I mean, this is too much information, but a lot of you that know us already know this anyway. So, um, she was doing what we call the legal practitioner course. The legal practice course. Legal practice course, I beg your pardon, LPC. All right. And what does that mean? That's like the qualifying exam for you to become a practicing solicitor in the UK and in Wales. So what everything she had, to, she needed. That I picked up more. You know, usually we we'll go shopping together. We we'll go. I picked up just to make sure that she had time to be able to pursue that dream because that was something that has been her dream before I even met her, before I came into the scene. Okay, so I saw myself. In fact, there was a time I was applying on her behalf to be able to get some things. I was. I kept. She would just be getting emails from different people like, "What's happening?" I was making application for her. Because at that point, she was busy doing some other stuff. So what I'm trying to say is that we as guys or as spouses, we must get out there and make sure that your spouse is fulfilling her dream. Don't let her become that person that becomes a shadow of herself. Because you are so invested in chasing and pushing and you know trying to get your own thing. You're forgetting the person who is your life partner. Mm-hmm. Think about that word, life partner. The person is partner with, partnering with, with you on the journey of life. All right, so the moment I became, uh, what do you call it now? I got, I graduated. In fact, we graduated the same year. While I was, uh, while I graduated in July, all right, my my PhD, I did my, I finished more, but it takes time for you to actually choose a date. So I chose a date. Graduation was in July for us. She was in December. So it looked like wow, these people knew what we were doing. But that's it's beautiful when you're wearing the graduation gown. Mm, yeah. But the work that has to go into that. Yeah. Is where most people, which is what differentiates the men and from the boys. So, 
give it your best shot find out what her dreams are if she's not happy don't just shove her around okay some male uh, some husband have this mindset oh i'm earning enough mm -hmm. you don't have to work mm -hmm. working is not only about the economics yeah we we're discussing this last night yes. right Working is not just about the economics. It's not just about bringing in money. There is something that happens to you when you go out there and you produce results. Whether you're working from home or you're working out there. Working helps you to solve a problem. When you're solving a problem, you are testing out your own ideas, testing out your own, you're building your self-esteem. Right. Two, you are building relationships. Some of you will start at your own businesses. Where do you, some of the people that you're going to be, that will be your customers, that will be your partners, will be people you met at work. So working is not just about salary. Salary is the least thing you're going to get from work. Mm -hmm. Robert Kiyosaki will tell you, don't get a job because of what you will earn, but because of what you can learn. So working is also helping you learn and gathering skills for the next phase of your life. Mm -hmm. Some of you will be on boards of corporations five years, ten years down the line, but because you work in different industries, you know how those industries operate. So don't just be an aspect or just say, oh, we're earning a lot. You don't have to do this. No, 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 no. Mm. Especially if she wants to do it. Mm. Give her the full support. Especially if she wants to do it. Yes. Okay, because the thing is, uh, what we've talked about may not be possible for every family. We yes. understand that. Yes. Okay, because yes, there are sacrifices you need to make. Yes. But it may not be convenient for mm. both parties to make those sacrifice at the same time. Yes. So you might reach that agreement that one of us, um, would step up mm -hmm. to do something mm -hmm. okay but what we're encouraging you to do today is always review that plan yes yes you've done review. it it's not cast it's not definite mm. it's not it shouldn't be for a lifetime mm. okay because people change our priorities change Absolutely. our expectations change Absolutely. as we grow as individuals Absolutely. so you need to check that that's still okay with your spouse mm -hmm. okay because she wants to feel acknowledged yes. <laughs> yes. all right so the next point is that they don't feel appreciated mm. this is a big one okay mm. and when we talk about this sometimes you see that um in some cases it might just be your spouse trying to tell you that i can't measure up to your expectations mm. they are impossible standards mm. to meet mm. okay um I, as much as i try i don't i don't feel like um, I'm doing it for you. Mm. Uh, you don't have to say it, mm. but I can see it in your eyes mm. that you feel that I'm less, if mm. I'm going to use that word. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll use it safely. Mm. Okay. Um, or you probably just complain a lot about everything I do mm. or criticize everything I do. Everything I do, even with the best of my intentions. Mm. Okay, we would cut it for you. Mm. In a case like that, ah, you have an unhappy spouse. Mm. Imagine doing your best. Mm. Okay, happily, I want to do my best. I want to make the best contribution. Mm. And that's why we are very big on knowledge. Mm. Because the truth is, you who is doing your best, mm. they think it's your best, mm. <laughs> but it may not be the best. Mm. Okay, and it may not be the best you can do. Mm. It's possible you can do better. Yes. So you see, like we always say, when you know better, mm. you do, do better. better. So mm. that's why we need to keep improving ourselves. Mm. So you might just get to that point where you have that light bulb moment. Mm. Like, Okay. Mm. What I've been doing is not even good enough. Mm. I could do better here. Mm. You want to say something? Yeah, I want to say what, what I want to add to that, uh, fantastically put anyway. But what I want to just add to your point, what I want to add to that is um, now, um, someone says good intentions are not enough. Mm. So you, who is the critical partner, who is trying to push your partner, your intention might be, oh, I want to get her to do this. No, I don't like the way he eats when he's outside. He just he just bites in one funny sound. He just I don't like the way he combines colors. I want to, I want to, I want to. Now, you can't change anybody, number mm. one. Number mm. two, you can't want something for someone more than they want for themselves. That's true. So yeah. it means that sometimes you have to be patient with your spouse. Alright. But that patient doesn't mean abdicate mm. just and leaving everything out. Know, yeah, you do whatever you no no no. You're married now. If he, he can't do anything he likes because whatever he does directly or indirectly affects you. Okay, so if your spouse just shows up and wearing green and red suits, you know, <laughs> guess we we're gonna be embarrassed at the dinner. You, your husband, really talk of the town, but he doesn't really care because he doesn't even know he's doing anything wrong. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that he's doing anything wrong. So, yeah. don't just abdicate, but don't be too fixated in mm. trying to change him. Mm. You know? So, um, one of the ways to do that is sometimes we recommend you pray by your spouse. Yes. Pray about yes. it. You know? And two, let go. 
sometimes when I learned this from Opera, Opera said she wanted to be in the um, uh, popular, uh, what's the name of this, uh, uh, Color Portal. She wanted to be in a movie called Color Portal. She wanted it so much. It was Steven Spielberg that was the, that was the director. She wanted to be in that color purple so much. She was holding on to it. Oh, I have to be here. I have to be in it. I have to be in it. This was before she became the old brand that we all know. All right? And then one day she just said, you know what? I've worked so hard for this. I've put so hard for this. I don't know. It seems that everything I'm doing seems not to be aligning. I let it go. Mm. I release it to God, wherever God does with it. And the moment she did that, she felt that inner peace about it. We need a couple of days. Somebody rang her up and said, Oh, um, I think somebody wants to talk to you. And it ended up to be Steven Spielberg on the other side of the telephone and offered her the role, color, purple that wow. she wanted to do. So I learned that, that sometimes you want something for your spouse so much, you are pushing, oh, he has to do this, she has to do that, she has to do this. But you come to that point and say, No, oh God. I've really pushed and pushed and I've come to the end of my own strength. I release this to you for you to do. I'm telling you that sometimes mm. things begin to work. Mm. Why? Because you've come to that point where you now you're releasing it to a higher power. Yeah. You say, Lord, yeah. I don't have the power to control this person. Mm. I don't have the power. Any other thing you do after that will become you build resentment in mm. your spouse. Mm. So you let it go. Mm. I release it. Mm. It's not we're not talking about an abusive situation. Mm. I think we're talking about in a situation where you want your spouse to upgrade themselves, mm. to change some habit, mm. and you are pushing, you're trying to push, mm. you're trying to create a change from outside, mm. rather than a change coming from inside, from yeah. them deciding, just let it go. Yeah. And I've seen that that has really worked in a, in a, in a number of situations. So, so re- release that, you know, and then again, um, it's the natural human nature to focus on the negative. I don't know why it is. I've not done research about it. But how? So, for example, um, when you get you get your results, you look at all the grades. The mm. one your mind is likely to focus on is the yeah. one you didn't get in the highest. Yeah. <laughs> it's just how it works. If you are in a room, you have a white background, for example, most people who come here may not notice all the whiteness. They will just notice a dark sign right there. It's just the way. Anything that stands out of the ordinary get noticed. Yeah. So, to that, what we say is sometimes we need to train our eyes to see the good in our spouses. Mm. Why is this important? Whatever you concentrate is what gets magnified. Yeah. All right. If you concentrate on the negative thing that she has or he has, that's what you're going to get to see, mm. and that will keep growing until you know, it prevails over your relationship to, to, to the point where you can't stand him. Mm. That him being around you, you'll be giving a negative energy, negative vibes. All right. So, and that's how it works. So, key thing: find one thing about her, two or three. Write it down on a daily basis. One thing is going to do: you're going to train your brain to begin to look for the positive. Mm. Sometimes we need to practice gratitude. Ten things, three things you are you are grateful for in your spouse every single day. Three different things. You'll be amazed how your emotion will change towards your spouse. The and same thing. I like I like that Roman. because sometimes when we talk about prayer, we yeah. think it's a cliche. Yes. But it's not. Okay. And um rightfully, sometimes I think God just wants us to get to the end of ourselves. Yes. So we realize that He is God mm. ultimately. Mm. It just reminds me of an experience I had um this week in the course yes. of the week. And I've been wanting something. I've been pushing for it. Mm. And the people on the other end won't make it work. Mm. Okay. And on this particular day, it was like, this is the end of it. <laughs> if they say, no, that's it. That's okay. It. And that's... they had threatened me. Yes. Okay. With no's. Yes. So I, and I was so worried about it. Mm. But I just got to that point where I said, hey, it was just like that still voice. Mm. I said, you don't even prayed about it, this. Mm. You've not talked to God about yeah. it. And I just took seconds and I was like, Lord. Mm. I just hand it over to you. Mm. And it worked like, mm. I don't want to say magic, mm. okay? It was just so fast, yes. so spontaneous. Yes. In 
few minutes, less mm. than 10 minutes, mm. I got a call. Mm. Everything had been sorted. Mm. And I go, yes. Mm. So it's, it's mm. when we talk about the change coming from within, mm. you know, he has the part, uh, the king's heart is in his hands. Absolutely. So you, you're trusting God for your husband and you mm. think he's that difficult. Hey, mm. he's going to turn that stony heart into a heart of flesh. Mm. You'll be surprised. Mm. So just go on, run with it. Fantastic. Okay, so let's take the last point quickly mm. for this one. Yes. Okay, and we didn't tell you the two-part video, so yeah. we'll continue the next video. Mm. The um, last point for this one is that they feel unsupported. Mm. Okay, sometimes some spouses just feel mm. overwhelmed with tasks. Mm. Okay, it might be um, maybe house chores. Mm. Okay, and the one person feels mm. I've been at work all day, mm. and you've been home all day. <laughs> as the person who's been home yes. has not been doing anything. Yes. Okay, and that person home mm. needs your assistance, and mm. you come back and you're like, I'm tired. Mm. And this person at home is thinking, Hey, I've been working as well. Mm. Okay, so in that case, there might be that thing. See, both parties now are not feeling supported mm. because you've been out and you're thinking she's not supporting me or he's not supporting me mm. because I've been out. Mm. Okay. Okay. Or it could be with parenting. Mm. One person feels, I'm doing more for the children. Mm. I take them out. I take them for fun act- out for, uh, fun activities. And I don't feel like you're supporting in any way. Mm. So these are things that we need to consider. Mm. How, how is your spouse feeling about certain things? Mm. Different aspects of your life. Your life it might be with, the fi- with finances. Mm. Okay, um, She might be feeling, one person, one party who is good with money, might be feeling I'm doing my best to gather, save, and invest, mm. uh, but you're not making it work. You're mm. not supporting me mm. because you. The more I try to gather and invest, the more you're spending. So it's making the task futile. Mm. Yeah. So mm. uh, it's something to to look out for. Mm. Yeah, feeling supported is so is so is so important. It's so critical. Why? Because both of you are members of the same team. Mm-hmm. All right. You, you, some, uh, if you work, you understand why how it's important when you are a member. You are a member of a team. How everybody's contribution, uh, you know, is so strategic, so important. So if anybody dropping the balls, it's not just going to impact on that person. It will impact on the delivery dates hitting the target of the team. So I say, as husband and wife, both of you are members of the same team. You have to be able to support each other mm-hmm. as regarding parenting. Mm-hmm. So you don't have that situation by one person is trying to be the good parent mm-hmm. while the other person is the bad cop, mm-hmm. good cop, bad cop kind of scenario. Mm-hmm. No. Agree on the principles mm-hmm. of parenting. Agree on the values you want to instill. Agree on how you want to go about it. And begin to push forward towards that. Yeah. That's very important. So find out. Uh, another thing I want to say is that... Um, one of the ways to feel has someone because you did ask a question and you know where you said uh, how your spouse do they feel supported mm-hmm. one of the ways to know if your spouse feels supported is to walk in their shoes how will this person if i'm the one that goes to do all this all this all this how will i feel and how will i want somebody to relate with me mm-hmm. all right once in a while you that is always working and going out and the other spouse probably you have his father is at home once in a while, come home and try to, maybe on Saturday or something, play some active role and try to be in your shoes, understand mm-hmm. what it takes to raise a toddler, mm-hmm. to raise two toddlers, all right, to raise three children. It's it's a job. It's a job, I'm telling you. Because you have to do homeschooling, you have to do a number of things, you have to do school runs, you know. So support each other and don't say that the other person is being insensitive, mm-hmm. all right, and you see how you can be of help. To that particular spouse, and that's so critical. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, we're mm. going to wrap this up now. Um, if you, I won't forget to refer you to the description box where we have our link for a free uh, one-hour session with us for our coaching program, Intimacy Builder Coaching, uh, <laughs> Intimacy Builder Coaching Program. Yeah, okay, it's right. so a one-hour session. Um, it's an eight-week program, but we can give you a free one-hour session, yes. and that can get you running. Yes. All right. So, um, until we come your way, hook us, hook up with us for the second part of this video. It's one of two parts. So, we'll see you in the second one. All right. So, subscribe, share it with your friends, yes. and let's get the conversation going outside the video. All right? All right. Goodbye.